Hello, in this video I will be playing Dead Trigger 2 on Tegra 3 and Tegra 4 and comparing the graphical differences. First I will start with Tegra 3. Move that out of the way a minute. So Tegra 3 was the first quad-core processor. As you can see, it's still able to power some very cool effects, but there are some effects it is lacking, as it only runs Dead Trigger 2 on high, not on ultra high, which, which we'll get on to in a bit. It still runs very smoothly, though. and it still provides a satisfying experience even though it is now updated. Okay, so let's move on to Tegra 4. As you can see, unlike Tegra 3, Tegra 4 can run a maximum settings due to the 72 GPU cores. So that means we get effects such as water and increased graphical performance and zero lag. This looks much better on the device than it does on like, the video. I apologise for the refocusing and the lower quality. Tegra 4 is the newest chip in NVIDIA, so it's capable of running all optimised games and pretty much any game at maximum settings. However, some apps aren't optimised for it yet, such as benchmarking apps. To unleash its full potential. All done. So, whatever you throw at it, Tegra 4 can run a completely smooth experience for the user. This is also 25% more battery efficient when it comes to videos and includes the second version, second or, or second generation of NVIDIA's 5th battery saving car. Doesn't seem to to let me train right now. Here we go. 
so I will take the four is a much more powerful chip as you would expect from the second generation. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me if you have any questions or you want me to make any more comparisons between Tegra 3 and Tegra 4, comment below.